Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this spring flower super dew bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm doing it step by step so I'm sure that even if you are a beginner with my instructions you will be able to make it by yourself. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video in this way you help me so much. A lot of work goes here so you might also want to subscribe support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of super dew beads green and pink. Here I'm also using 8 beads in black color and 11 seed beads in black color as well. This is towel clasp and jump rings, you could use other clasp of your choice. This is nail bond nylon thread, but you could use Nymo, you could use Fireline, whatever you like and prefer. This is size 11 beading needle, I think you could handle this with also with 10 or 12. And I'm using here scissors and I'm using pliers. Okay, now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and later if needed I will add more thread and I'm going to start. Okay my friends and I'm starting my work by picking up six of those beautiful super dual beads or you could use twin beads if you want and I'm sliding those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pulling again and then I will make just one more knot okay I have this now then what I want to do is to go through two beads in this direction I'm taking just one eight-o bead in this step and I go through the opposite bead here Okay, this one. How I find the opposite, I count one, two, three. So the third one is the opposite, if not, if it's not obvious for you. Okay, and pull. Now guys, I have this. Then in my next step, as I'm exiting from this filled inner hole, I want to go through the outer empty hole of the same super dew bead. And now I want to take two green beads, okay, two green super dual beads or twin beads, whatever you use. And I'm going in the next empty hole of the following super dual, empty outer hole. Now I take just one super dual, go in the next hole, one super dual, go in the next hole. Then it's time to take two super doors like this and pull and then one and one again. Okay, this is what I have now. Okay, my friends, now what I want to do is to make another element like this one but I will do this the other way around, okay? I'm exiting from the inner hole of this super do and what I do is that I zigzag through it and go through its outer hole. Then I take just one pink bead, go in the next green, then again I want to zigzag here. First I'm going through these two beads, then again I'm zigzagging through this and exiting out of the pink one, not going through the following green but only through the pink one. My goal is to exit out of the pink and out of its empty outer hole. Okay, now I have this. Then I take one green bead, I'm sliding it down. Okay. 
then I want to go through its empty outer hole like I did before. So now you see how it is attached here and I want to push it. Take another green, slide it down. And then go through the empty hole of this bead, through the pink and then through the following green one. Okay, I have this. Then in my next step, I go through these two green beads, okay? And now I'm in a position to start my next element. So I take one pink bead, I slide it down, and I go through its empty hole, okay? I'm going through one of its hole and then through the other one, just zigzagging. And then I pull and push it here. I take another pink bead, slide it down again, okay, and I also go through its empty outer hole, okay, like this. And then what I need to do is to push it closer to my work, and after that, again, I will go through these two green beads. And when I pull, I have this. Okay, and now I'm exiting through these two green beads. But what I want to do is to go also here through the pink bead. Okay, then I will go through those two pink beads. Maybe it will be easier to go first through one of them and then through the second one. And now, if you remember, when I was making the center of this flower, I took six of those beautiful super do beads. Now I have two, so I need to add four more. And when I go back in circle, I will have again six like I had in my previous row. Okay. So I want to go here through some beads, taking one ato, going in the opposite bead here, like this, pulling a little bit to fix it, okay. Now, what I want to do is to go back through this pink one, back in circle. Here, I will add just one green bead. And I'm going through the pink after that. Then I'm going through the next two green beads, but one by one is easier for me. And then I go through this pink here. Okay. Take a green one. Okay, like this. Another green. Then two greens. And one green. Okay. Now I have my second element ready and what I want to do is to make the third one absolutely the same way. Just go here through all of those pink beads like that. Then zigzag by going through their outside hole then do, through these two green beads because my goal guys is to exit here at the end without any thread showing so I'm zigzagging 
the way it will be possible. Okay, then I take one pink bead, go in the next green. Then I should zigzag because I want to exit through this pink one. So how I'm zigzagging? Well, the only way is to go through these two green beads and then like this, through this green, through its outer hole and through the pink again. And then in order to continue, I should go in the pink's outer empty hole. Then I take a green one, slide it down, go in its empty hole, another green bead, slide it down as well, go back like this through the green and through the pink in order to shape them like this. Okay, then through both of the greens because I want to reach the end here. In this step I need a pink bead, slide it down, add it here and go through its empty outer hole. Another pink, slide it down like this and then go through its empty outer hole and also in one movement you could go through the green one. If you want do it in one movement, if not in two, whatever is easier for you, then through the next green and then again my next step would be to go through this pink one here through one of its holes and then through the its outer hole like this. Okay. Then I take four more pink bees because I want to make a flower of six, but I have two in place already. So I'm going like this and in the next bead and also through some beads in this direction. Take this Ato, go through the opposite one and pull. Then go in the next pink and in its outer hole like I did so many times before. And take one green bead go in the pink and in the next green if you can in one movement if not in two okay now i'll turn my work because it will be easier for me go in the next green and in the next pink then i take a green one another green Then two greens and here one green. Okay. And then I go through the next few beads here. Okay. And now I want to make here a knot. And I'm going twice through this loop I've made and pull. And I go in the next green bead. And I cut this tail thread. Now guys, I'm going to put another long thread on my needle and I'll be back. And at this step, my friends, my goal is to show you how to add more thread and continue this process. Okay, I have a new thread here on my needle and I want to attach it by going like this. Making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made, pulling. 
then I go here through some beads in this direction and through these two green beads and uh, now what I do is that I go through the empty outer hole of this green and I take a pink bead and I will continue this process absolutely the same way I showed you just rewind this video to this part here and repeat 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 until you have enough elements I will make four more so I will have seven but if your wrist is longer than mine you could do more or if it's smaller you could do less okay so I will continue this and I'll be back okay guys and absolutely the same way that I showed you I did seven elements and now I'm here at this end where I will show you how we continue now I'm exiting from the inner hole of this green bead you see here where my thread is and what I want to do is go through its empty outer hole and here guys is where my clasp will be so what I would like to take here are four 11 black beads and as I take them I go through the neighbor empty hole okay so here will be where my clasp will be attached then I take 11 0 an 8 0 and an 11 0 and I go in the next green one then I take 11 0 an 8 0 and an 11 0 next green okay and next green and also I'm going through the pink yes that is what I have now I want to repeat this for my next element okay so I go backwards through the pink and through the green and I pull and I take again 11 0 8 0 11 0 and I go in the next green one 11 0 8 0 11 0 next green and again 11 0 8 0 11 0 next green and then go like this and now you zigzag through the pink and backwards through the same pink and here at the same place where the green is okay and I will continue guys absolutely the same way and when I reach the other the other part of my bracelet I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay my friends and as I continue beading here I am at my last step and if you remember here I'm putting my clasp so I need to add only four seed beads instead of 1108 or 110 but it is only here at this step and then I will continue the same way like I did from this side I will show you all only the first one okay 1108011 again 1108011 again 1108011 And I will go back like this and I will continue until the end with 110, 0 and then I'll be back when I finish this row. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I need to add my last 110, 0 I go here and now what I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread. I go 
twice through the loop I've made. It's a little bit difficult because my thread is almost over. And I pull. Here I want to go through some beads. It doesn't matter in which direction. Let's say here. And I cut this tail thread. Now my friends, what I need to do is to attach my jump ring and my clasp to my work. And how I do this, I take my jump ring, I open this one up. If you can't do it uh, like this, you could use a pair of pliers. Okay, now I'm putting it like this, taking the clasp and also put it here. Now I'm squeezing back in the same direction as I opened it. Okay, making it flat and really close. Okay, and now I have this. I will repeat it from the other side and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now my spring flower super duo bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials and you will be inspired often. A lot of work goes in this video, so you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.